The Blue Grand M has a 5 inch display with a 480 by 854 pixels resolution and under bright sunny conditions it's a little bit hard to see and the viewing angles is borderline decent for the price right here. When it comes to ergonomics, the thumb can control the power button and volume button easily thanks to its small footprint. Now it has an aluminum bag, it weighs 171 grams and I wish both the audio port and the micro USB port is placed at the bottom for convenience reasons. For some reasons, brands are sending us pink color devices for review. But I can show you it's not limited to pink color, there are other colors as well. Now this baby right here has a 2200mAh battery. From our in-house battery test, it lasted 8 hours and 45 minutes. Quite good for the battery capacity like this. Now the front camera right here is 32 megapixel, and the rear camera right here is 5 megapixels. I wish it was 8 megapixels just to keep with today's standard. Both the front and the back has also flash to illuminate your subject and yourself. Now the camera for this price is borderline decent and good for its price. And I wish the autofocus was a little bit faster because there is a little bit of delay. The Blue Grand M is powered by a quad-core MediaTek 6580 clock at 1.3 GHz with a half gig RAM. I wish it was 1 gig minimum RAM for today's standards. It has an 8 gig internal storage, but only 4 gig is available as the other half is used by the system and the app. So you may need to get extra micro SD card which is up to 32 gigs that is support. It has a Mali 400 GPU, decent for simple, less graphic intensive game, limited to 3G network but it has Bluetooth 4.0 running Android 6 as well. This baby is priced at 369 ringgit. It's a little bit too steep for my preference. And there are a lot of budget phones with better specs. It's priced much lower than this baby right here. Maybe because it's branded because of Miami is from US and so on the brand. But one of their selling points is the two year warranty. The first year being the one to one exchange. So maybe you may want to get that since, since this phone will be likely used by kids school kids because you don't need to buy them iPhone 7 and Samsung 8 expensive 3000 ringgit phones. You just get them a 300 ringgit phone. They can use it to WhatsApp and call and SMS their parents or their caretakers. If they lose the phone, too bad, I'm going to buy you the similar one which is priced the same. Or in case you break the screen, you do this damage or whatever damage, it's a one-to-one -one exchange and there is two-year warranty total. So leave your comments below. What do you think about the blue Grand M right here? I have better interest reviewing the Pure XR because that one has a better camera and I want to review it. So comment below what do you think about this smartphone, this budget smartphone. Share this video on social media, like and subscribe and check out our other reviews. See you guys in the next video. Now I shall eat more marshmallows for breakfast.